love making tie-dye shirts. It makes me happy. Alaria Arzeno may only be seven years old, but she's already started her own business making tie-dye t-shirts, sweatshirts, and masks. Here's one design. Oh, you made a mask. Yeah, I do um, masks. I do shirts. I like to make tie-dye shirts because I help the Dominicans. So I do have some money for me, but I give most of it to do to the Dominican Republic, but I went to um, this little girl's dad's house and her house, and she, her dad was a barber, and she worked in, um, like, she had a little room, and her room wasn't a room, it was a tent. Once she pays for product, the rest of her earnings goes to families in the Dominican Republic. Eladi is Dominican, her father is Dominican, and it just holds a special place in our hearts. We love the country. Eladi met um, a lot of families that she seen needed help. She started off by sending clothes and then she decided to start doing tie dyes. And I said, I posted on my Instagram and I said, uh, let's see what we get. Like right when I put my mom posted it, I got like so many orders. And when I woke up the next morning, I got like 50 orders. Now she has close to 475 orders since she started in late July. And what started out as helping one little girl has now expanded to helping six families. As soon as an order comes in, we do the happy dance. We get so excited. Uh, all her shirts are made with so much love. Like it takes so much time to get everybody involved. It's a whole process. Her father's involved. I'm involved. Her little brothers are involved. Her nonna's involved. Her nonno. Like we're all involved trying to, for this cause, you know, because now we feel like these kids depend on us. If you'd like to find out more information about her business, there's a link on our website, citynews.ca under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.